Hey Jane, what are you doing on your phone there? Oh, well David, tomorrow is Joseph's 12th birthday, and I'm currently looking up some gifts we could possibly give him. Oh, that's right, I almost forgot that Joseph's birthday is tomorrow, and we do have to give him a gift or two. So, do you have any ideas on what we can do for Joseph on his birthday? Oh, I think I have the perfect gift we can give Joseph. Really? What's your idea, David? Maybe this year for Joseph's birthday, we should build him a treehouse. One where he can hang out outside whenever he wants, and maybe he can put some of his stuff there. That may not be a bad idea, honey. But you do realize that building a treehouse takes time. What are we going to do with our son? Oh, well then, maybe we can convince one of our daughters to spend the day with him while we build his little present, and one of our other daughters can help us. Oh, well it's settled then. We should go tell one of our daughters about tomorrow. Hey, Mom and Dad. I heard tomorrow is my 12th birthday. Oh, that's right, sugar pie. And boy do we have a special surprise for you tomorrow for it. Really? A surprise? For me? Wow. I can't wait to find out what it is. Well, you'll just have to wait and see Joseph. In the meantime tomorrow, we'll see if maybe DW or Kate would like to spend the day with you. Okay, that sounds like a good plan. I'm just excited to see what will be happening tomorrow for my birthday. We couldn't agree more. Well, I'm going to go upstairs and speak with Kate and DW. Come in. Oh, hey mom, is there something that you need? Well, kind of, you're probably aware that tomorrow is Joseph's 12th birthday? Of course I am, did you or dad figure out what we're doing for Joseph's birthday? Yes. We're actually going to be building Joseph a treehouse outside of our backyard, and then we'll throw him a little surprise party, just all of us in the family. And I was wondering if you would be willing to hang out with your brother for a while, while me, your father, and Kate are busy preparing things? Wow, a treehouse for Joseph? That has to be the greatest gift we could possibly give him. I know, right? So are you willing to go out with Joseph and hang out with him tomorrow, DW? Of course, Mom, I'm willing to spend some time with Joseph, especially since he's not a troublemaker anymore. Maybe Joseph and I might stop by Grandma Thora's for a while until you finish with Joseph's big surprise. That's not a bad idea. Maybe your grandma would be happy to come to our house tomorrow too. Well, your father will be talking with your sister about helping us set up Joseph's birthday. In the meantime, I'll be downstairs making dinner, but I'll call you when it's ready. Okay then. So Kate, will you be willing to help me tomorrow with your brother's surprise present? Of course, Daddy. I'll be more than happy to help you build Joseph's new house. Thank you so much, Kate. You're the best. Anyways, come downstairs. Your mother probably has dinner ready by now. All right. D.W. and Joseph, will you two be okay out there by yourselves, while, your father, sister, and I prepare Joseph's big surprise? Of course, Mom, you know very well that we're both old enough to look after ourselves. All right then, I will text both of you when the big surprise present is ready. And D.W., be sure you look after your brother for me while you two out, got it? Of course, Mom, you know you can always count on me. Well, all right then. You two have a nice time, and I love you both. So, do we have all the stuff we need to build Joseph's new tree house? Yes. yes. All right then, let's get right to work. So Joseph, since today is your birthday, where would you like to go first? Well, I think I want to go to the park. I could really use a nice walk. The park doesn't sound so bad, let's go then. 
Oh my goodness, that has to be the most beautiful fountain I've ever seen. I can see DW, this must have been built recently, because I don't remember seeing this in the park. I am so taking a picture of this. Same here. Do you want to go sit on the bench Joseph? Sure, I could definitely use a little relaxation. Besides, I have a lot of things to tell you sis. So Joseph, why don't you tell me more about that virtual reality escape room that you and Arthur went to? Well, you see, the escape room had a lot of cool stuff. For starters, you can choose your weapon, I went with a sword, while Arthur went with a pistol. Then we went through three dungeons facing three monsters, most of them were based on real-life criminals of Go Animate City. Wow, that sounds so awesome. Maybe the next time when we go to the Go Animate City Entertainment Center, I should definitely come with you along with Kate. Oh for sure. You'll definitely love it DW, and I'm sure Kate will too. Well, fancy seeing you two here, DW and Joseph Reed. Oh, Francine Frinsky, and Buster Baxter? What are you two doing here? Well, we were just taking a walk around the park, until we couldn't help but notice you two. After all, it has been a while since we last saw you two. How have you two been doing? Especially you Joseph, since you've been improving your behavior and learning from your mistakes as I heard from your brother. Oh, I'm doing just fine, especially since today is my 12th birthday. Wow, isn't that news? Happy birthday, Joseph. Yeah, you've finally turned 12 years old. Thank you so much for that Buster and Francine. So, what exactly are you guys doing for Joseph today? Well, our family has a special surprise for Joseph waiting back at our house. So, I decided to spend some time with him, until the surprise is ready for him. And I'm just dying to know what my surprise is going to be. Well, in that case, you two have fun with your little sibling time. Francine and I are going to continue our walk around the park, but you Joseph have a happy 12th birthday. Oh, and if you two ever see Arthur again, tell him we said hi. Okay, we will, and you two have a nice day yourselves. Well, Joseph, what do you say we go and visit Grandma Thora? I'm sure she would want to see you on your birthday. I thought you'd never ask sis, I'd be happy to visit Grandma Thora any day, especially on my birthday. Well then, let's hop on our bikes and head on over to Grandma's place. Well, if it isn't my two grandchildren, D.W. and Joseph. Hey Grandma. It's so nice to finally see you. Yeah, I agree with DW. It's very nice to see you Grandma Thora, especially since we rarely see each other nowadays. I know, it's always nice to see my own two grandkids, especially since I heard it's someone's special day today. That's right, Joseph here is turning 12 years old today. My my, don't they grow up so fast? I know, right. Joseph has been improving his behavior and is not in troublemaker anymore, and he's even been doing better in school. Oh, well isn't that wonderful? Yeah, it is. And what makes this better is that Mom, Dad, and Kate have a surprise waiting for me back at our house. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, I have a little surprise for you to Joseph. Really? You have a surprise for me too, Grandma? Of course anything for my two grandkids. In fact, why don't you both come inside and see for yourselves, maybe stay a while. Wait, is that what I think it is? Oh my goodness it is. It's pizza and breadsticks. It certainly is Joseph, I figured that since today is your birthday, I would make some lunch for us today, so surprise. Thank you so much for this grandma. 
And that's not the only surprise I got for you. Here are these. No way. It's two $50 gift cards. One for GameStop, and another for Uber Eats. Joseph, I'm so excited for you. You can buy whatever you want with those cards. Maybe we can ask mom and dad to take us to GameStop this weekend. Yeah, that's a great idea, DW. Thank you so much for these gifts, Grandma. I love you. Anytime, Joseph, and I love you too. Well then, let's all celebrate Joseph's birthday by having our delicious lunch. Wow, that pizza and breadsticks was so delicious. As usual, Grandma, you still make the best pizza and breadsticks. Why, thank you, Joseph. As I said, it was the least I could do for my grandson. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I hope it's what I think it is. Hello? Oh, hey, Mom, what is it? Oh, you got Joseph's surprise present finally ready. All right, say no more, Joseph and I will be on our way home in a minute, we're at Grandma Thora's house now. Okay, we will, and I love you too, bye. Joseph, I just got off the phone with Mom, and she said that your surprise present is ready. What do you say? Ready to head home. Oh my goodness, that is the best news I've ever heard. Of course I'm ready to head home. I can't wait to see my surprise. All right then, I knew you'd be excited. Grandma, would you like to come over to our house for Joseph's birthday today? Why, of course, DW, I would love to come home for your little brother's birthday. Besides, this is a family thing, and I feel like I should be there too. So, let's all get into my car and drive over there. Um, actually, my brother and I rode here on our bicycles, so I'm sure we're more than capable of riding them back home. Right, Joseph? Right you are, sis. Oh, well in that case, I'll meet both of you at your house then. Oh, I got to say, you two must be really good at riding bicycles if you're able to ride all the way to the park, my house, and back. Why thank you, Grandma, we have been riding our bikes since we were both little kids. Alright then, let's go inside and see our family. Hey, Mom, Dad, and Kate, we're home. Surprise! Surprise. Happy, birthday, Happy birthday, Joseph! Birthday, Joseph. Joseph. Oh. My. Goodness. A surprise birthday, for me? You shouldn't have. Well we did, and we spent nearly all day planning all this for you. And I see that your grandma Thor was able to come too. Hello mom, it's been so long since we've seen each other. I know, David, I'm just glad to see my son again. And it's so good to see my youngest granddaughter, Kate. Same to you, Grandma. I wish you could come to visit us more often. So, Joseph, did Grandma give you anything while you and DW were at her place? Oh, for sure she did. Grandma gave me two $50 gift cards. One for GameStop, and another for Uber Eats. Wow, that sounds awesome. Did you say thank you? Of course I did. Grandma even made me and my sister pizza and breadsticks for lunch. Ah, well wasn't that nice of her. Anyways Joseph, ready to do your cake? Oh, you bet. Okay, I will now place the candles on top, light them, and we will all sing happy birthday. Alright, family, let's get ready to sing happy birthday to Joseph, in 3, 2, 1, 0.
Alright then, now that we all had a slice of cake, Kate has a little something for you Joseph. Really? I'd like to see it. Of course, and boy are you going to love it. Here it is bro. A fidget spinner, and a one month pass to PlayStation Plus. Yay. I thought that in case you ever get stressed out, you can always give that spinner a good spin. Well, not a bad idea for a present Kate, and you even got my two favorite colors, teal and scarlet. And I know how much you love PlayStation, so I got you that PlayStation Plus pass. And with that pass, you can not only get a discount on many PlayStation games, but you also get free access to all the old PlayStation games you want. Really? Oh my goodness, these have to be the greatest gifts ever. Thank you so much Kate, you're a great sister. Aw, uh, thanks Joseph, that really means a lot to me. Well, if you like those presents Joseph, then wait until you see the even bigger surprise we were able to prepare for you. Really? Of course, in fact you might want to close your eyes, and don't open them until we say, Okay. Alright everyone, let's all head outside in the backyard. Alright, Joseph, you can open your eyes now. No way, is that a tree house? It sure is sugar pie. Your father, your sister, and I have spent the whole day building it, and we hope you like it. Yay 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 yay. I'm going to check out the inside. Oh my goodness, this tree house looks so awesome. We're glad that you think that, Joseph. We even put some old stuff from the house and put it in here. There's a couch right there for you to sit and relax in. Here, we also put a radio and some speakers, in case you ever want in here and listen to some music. And finally, over there, we gave you a nice futon in case you ever want to come here and take a nap. So Joseph, what do you think of your little surprise? Yes, yes, yes. I love this present. In fact, this is the best birthday present I could ever ask for. Thank you so much, Mom, Dad, and Kate. You're the best family I could ever have. What the? My voice? Why did my voice change all of a sudden? Oh my goodness, Joseph. It's finally happening. Really? What's happening? Joseph. You're starting to go through puberty. Puberty? What's that? It's when as you get older, Joseph, your body starts to change, and it looks like your voice just changed first. Oh, so, what are all the other changes that will happen to my body? Um, I think it's best we save that talk for another time, son. Oh, okay then. Well, like I said, thank you all so much for this surprise you got for me, and you're the best family ever. I love you all. Ah, oh, thank you so much Joseph, we love you too. Yeah, that really means a lot to us. Group hug. Man, this is the best birthday ever.